What's going on everybody? This is Coach Jeff here with Asiyama Academy and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can score as an unathletic hooper. All right. So if you play ball and you know you don't feel like you have the speed to get by people, you don't have the athleticism, this video is going to show you guys how you can score when you're not athletic. All right. Make sure you guys listen to all the tips okay especially the last one all right you don't want to miss the last one so make sure you be sure to watch the whole video all the way through all right so with that being said let's get straight to the video Okay, so first things first, you're unathletic, right? You have a hard time blowing by guys, getting to the rim. The first thing that you can do is work on pace, all right? So when you're dribbling the ball, you want to work on pace. So James Harden does this a lot, right? You play with the ball, right? You're dribbling, you start slow, right? And then you hit him with like a one-two crossover. So you start slow, and then you go fast, right? So if somebody's on me, slow, Boom, right? Somebody's guarding me. James Harden does this. He'll do this, right? Boom, right? He'll blow by you. Okay, so if I'm here, right? I'm here. I'm dribbling it, right? Slow, slow, slow. Right? Boom, fat. And then I go up and I finish. Okay, so that's one really great way that you could blow by your defender when you're unathletic. Okay, you start slow. And then you just make a quick move, bang, bang, right? And then you just go up, okay? So you guys can practice that a lot. A lot of it is just pacing. So you gotta think to yourself, right? You gotta think to yourself, slow, slow, right? Slow, that's fast, okay? Anybody could do that, whether you're athletic or unathletic, all right? Another thing when you're doing that is you wanna make sure you're low, okay? You wanna make sure you're low, so that you're in a position where you can stay low and then come up to finish. All right, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you want to do a lot of hesitation dribbles. Okay, so when I say hesitation dribbles, you want to go like this, right? You want to float. You want to give him a head, right? Because when you're giving him a hezzy, also with the pacing, you're kind of luring your defender to sleep, right? So. They're, they're playing defense, they're watching you, right? They're watching you, right? Has he, has he, right? And then boom, you go right by him, okay? So that's something that you guys could practice. You can even mix it in with the pacing. Right? So you go, hey, hey, fast. Right? Up, left hand, up. Okay, so that's another way that you guys could score points at Athletic Hooper, okay? Hezzy, you want to float, right? There's a drill, I'll give you a quick drill right now. A drill you can do to practice that float is one, two, three. And then you just go up. Practice that. So the next thing to help you get more buckets when you're unathletic is that jump shot. You got to have that jump shot, all right? This is very important. Whether you're athletic or unathletic, you got to be able to knock it down. Okay, especially when you have a hard time blowing by your defenders, all right? So, you know, you're here, right? Maybe you call for a screen, right? That can help you a lot too, calling for a screen. As soon as you come around the screen, you're open, right? So you gotta be able to hit this shot, right? You gotta be able to knock it down, okay? So if I'm dribbling and my defender, you know, he's figured me a little bit with the and the one, two, Right, I gotta be able to hit that shot if I find an open spot, right? Somebody sets me a down screen, I go up and I'm open. Gotta be able to hit that shot, okay? Now, if you're not confident in your shooting, you might wanna check out this one video that I have. It'll help you become a better shooter in just one week, all right? Yup, I said it, just one week. So you gotta be able to use the seven days, all right, to work on your shot. 
Okay, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description so you guys can watch it. But that's a great video to help you get better in just one week, okay? So it's going to help you with your shot, shooting mid-range threes, okay? You just, you need the full seven days though. So make sure you check that out. So that brings me into the next thing, all right? You got to be able to take advantage of screens, okay? Very, very important. You got to take advantage of this. So I got the ball right here at the top of the key, right? If I don't use this screen the right way, right? If I don't use it the right way, the man can get over the screen and now he's here, right? And now I gotta try to figure out how can I blow by him? Okay, you got those two options, the pacing and the hezzy, but if you don't have those options, you gotta be able to use the screen, okay? That's another thing that you can do. So you gotta be able to make sure that you're low. That's number one, right? When the screen comes, you gotta make sure that you're low. Number two, you gotta set your man up. So if this person stops right here, right in the middle, right? I gotta set him up to run into that screen. So as you guys can see, you know, this is a pretty new YouTube channel, all right? The more that I go, the more that you'll see me have other guys or girls that I'll be able to use as an example. But for now, we're gonna use our imagination, all right? So this guy's here, right? He's standing right there, that's my teammate. Okay, I'm gonna set him up. Right? When I set them up, I got to make sure that I brush off of their shoulder, okay? So that I'm really tight, okay? When I come off the screen and the defender can't catch up, okay? So I set them up right right? I set them up, yeah, I flow, I play with it, right? Hit the shot, boom, okay? So that's what you guys could do when it comes to using the screen. Okay, those are three things you got to remember. Number one, you gotta stay low, right? You gotta stay low. Number two, you gotta set your man up, right? Set him up to run into the screen. Number three, you gotta brush off your teammate real tight, okay? You brush off him real tight, and then you come up and you shoot it, all right? Now listen, all these tips are very important, right? When it comes to being an unathletic player and you wanna get more points, all these tips for sure is gonna help you. Okay, but this last one goes unnoticed, okay? And a lot of times people don't do it. I'm not sure why, right? But I'm gonna show you guys right now. So you see how you dribble in the ball? This offhand, you gotta use the offhand, especially when you're not athletic. You gotta use it to your advantage, okay? Especially when you're playing against aggressive defenders who are, you know, they're in, they're into you like this, right? Their hands on you, maybe they're touching you, they're trying to feel you. Right? First of all, you gotta start out in a good triple threat position, right? You gotta protect the ball, okay? And you gotta, you know, smack his arm, move it a little bit. Let him know, like, this is not gonna be easy, right? You smack it, right? And then bring it, you retreat, right? You do this little one, two, bang, bang. When you buy him, use that arm to create some leverage, all right? You might push him back a little bit, or you're just gonna get his hand off you so that he won't try to steal the ball and then try to take it or anything like that, okay? So you gotta make sure you do like a little swing motion. You don't wanna pick your arm up too high and go like this, cause that's gonna be a foul, most likely. You know, this video, I'm gonna do this video again. Hopefully I'll be able to find somebody so that I can really, really show you guys how it's supposed to look. Um, you should see other YouTube videos as well where you can use that offhand to get somebody off you, okay? So I'm here, right? I'm dribbling. The ball, I got the defender right in front of me, right? His hand is up, and I As I go by, I move his hand down. So you gotta use that arm to your advantage, all right? Again, like I said before, you don't wanna pick it up too high, go like this. That's gonna be a foul. You gotta do like a small, you know, small nudge, get it out the way, really small, all right? And like I said, you can use the body as leverage to push you even more forward, okay? So those are the things that you guys wanna keep in mind when it comes to trying to get more buckets, when you're struggling to use your athleticism to blow by the defender, okay? Now remember, as a hooper, the number one thing you need is confidence, okay? You always gotta believe in yourself before you put these tips into play, you gotta make sure that you believe in yourself, all right, and tell yourself that you could do it, 
Okay, I believe in you. I think you can get it done, you know, no matter how unathletic you are. I think you could, you know, end up scoring a lot of points in your games. All right, so make sure you practice. Okay, practice. Use that line mentality, and the sky will be the limit for you. All right? Now, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If it gave you guys some value, please do us a favor and give us a thumbs up. All right? If you have any questions or any comments that you want to make, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos that comes out. All right? That's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And always remember, the lion mentality lives here.